any work is done. Family owned since 1986 with Chad and Tracy Zahn. And I promise, the price won't shock you. Highline Electric in Valley City, call 845-0731. Building a reputation of integrity and quality. Hey, Valley City, Jamestown Regional Medical Center knows how important it is to receive care close to home. That's why JRMC orthopedic surgeon Dr. Timothy Volk offers care right in Valley City. Learn about local care for hips, shoulders, knees, and toes at www.jrmcnd.com backslash Valley City. Schedule online anytime at jrmcnd.com backslash Valley City or call 701-952-4878. Jamestown Regional Medical Center will never stop building for you. This is Amy Heim, nurse practitioner with Sanford Health. Well child checks are important visits for children of every age. Yearly well child checks are recommended for children three and older and more frequently for those younger than three. It is at these visits that growth, development, and preventative care are addressed in an effort to keep children as healthy as possible. Recommended immunizations are also discussed and provided at these visits. Call 742-3267 to schedule at your local Sanford Health Clinic in Ellendale, Foreman, Gwinner, Lamour, Lisbon, or Oaks. Welcome back inside the Valley City Highliner Activity Center. Ricky Claverkamp here on KOVC as we get ready for the start of this game. Now it's time for us to take a look at the CHI Mercy Health starting lineups. CHI Mercy Health, hello human kindness. For the West Fargo Packers, you're going to be starting off with Olivia Peterson, Raina Vilikowski, you got Eileen Mac McIntosh, you got Allie Halverson, Grace Wary, Olivia Sony. And then you also got Riley Gusetti on the Valley City Highliner side. Jada Nelson is going to be starting at the libero, but that means that she'll come on in as a replacement. Katie Coca getting the start. Sam Hatcher as well. Jovi Berg. Faith Peterson. And then you also got Addie Quill Vang as well getting the start. And Ava Hughesby, if I didn't mention her earlier. Looking at the starting lineup for the Highliners, Jaden Nelson, one assist, 11 digs in the last game. Drew Potrat, 18 assists, 12 digs, two kills in the last game. Katie Coca, one ace, 20 assists, and 12 digs. Ava Hughesby, four kills, one block, three digs. Sam Hatcher, she had an ace, nine kills, and 11 digs, almost getting that double-double in kills and digs. Jovi Borg, two kills, four digs. Faith Peterson, seven kills and four blocks. And Addie Quilvang, five kills and four and a half blocks as well. Looking at that team, you also got a bunch of seniors getting the start. You got Jada Nelson, a senior. Sam Hatcher's a senior. Faith Peterson's a senior. You got three seniors out there. Katie Coca, the lone freshman, getting the nod tonight. And then you also got one junior, Addie Quilvang, getting a nod. And then Ava Hughesby, the sophomore, and Jovi Berg as well, a sophomore. West Fargo High Packers, and the sophomore, Olivia Peterson. Freshman, Raina Viakowski. My bad, I'm going to be struggling with that one all night as I write that one down to make sure I do not actually mess that one up all night. Last week, as you know, I had the little screw up with a couple of the names and I also said uh, Detroit Lakes uh, multiple times <laughs> during the broadcast instead of Devils Lakes. And then again, Ellie McIntosh, she is a freshman. Allie Halverson, the first senior on this one. And then you also got Olivia Soini and also Riley Gusetti, both seniors as well. As we currently wait for the handshakes, Valley City has won the coin shake. They are going to be serving first in this one. Valley City, they are going to be in their home blues with a little bit of light blue trim. It's with white trim as well, white numbers on their back, highliners written along their shoulders as well, white knee pads and white shoes and then you also got a little bit of highliner script along their sleeves. The West Fargo Packers, they are in their road greens, white trim, West Fargo script along their sleeves up by their forearms and then they got a little bit of trim, white trim going down their sides. Then they also got white numbers on their front and back Packer script written across their shoulders. Looking out there right now, we're waiting for Viakowski to check on in as well as Jada Nelson. The Liberos getting ready to check on in as we currently await something with the officials. 
Everybody, pretty good crowd here. You got a good student section down to my lower right. Then you also got a good student section for West Fargo on the left side as well. Again, pretty good crowds here that have been drawing early in this season. Valley City Highliners second home game, 2-0. and They're 1-0 and at home. West Fargo High Packers, they're 0-1 on the road, but it is very early in this season, so that doesn't exactly mean much of anything. As we get the checks on in here, it's going to be McIntosh coming on out, Viakowski going on in for the libero, and then coming on, that's on West Fargo's side, and then on the Valley City side, it's going to be Faith Peterson checking on out for Jada Nelson. As here we go, game about to get underway. Going to serve, it's going to be Jovi or Katie Coca. Here we go, underway. That one sent on over, set up there by Halverson. Set back to Halverson, she's going to put it on over. Nice stop there by Sam Hatcher. Sets up near side, Coca to Borg, and there's it is. One nothing, Valley City. Set number one underway here at the Highliner Activity Center. Ricky Cloverkamp up here in the broadcast booth. Katie Coca is serving on the LaRue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. It's one nothing here in set one. Katie Coca gets us back underway. Sent on over. Morris sets up. They're going to push it on over. Set up. Nice save there by Sam Hatcher. Coca. They're going to have to just dump it on over, and they do with Jovi Borg. And that's going to be a point. Diving for it. There was Viakowski, and it's going to be a point, as she couldn't get it. It was barely sent on over. 2 nothing Valley City. It's going to be, again, Katie Coca. Sets up on that far side, tacking right to left across your radio dial or on your computer screen. That one sent right into the net. It's going to be 2 to 1, a reverse ace. Going to be taking it now is Allie Halverson, the senior. The five foot six senior for West Fargo, the Packers. She sends it on over. Set up their board to Coca. Back set here. Kvilvang down. Kvilvang out. Yes, it is. 3 1. She sent it in off the wall. Oh, they're going to count it for West Fargo. I don't know about that. I thought it got off the wall. They're going to count it for West Fargo. Sent on over, Nelson, Coca. Now Quilvang just gonna try to dump it on over. Halverson's there, back set here. It's gonna be dumped on over. Nelson can't get there. Riley Gusetti. And just like that, we have a change of lead. The Packers are in front. Halverson going for her third serve. Sets up on the near side, puts it on over, right into the net, and it's 3-3. The reverse ace again. Going to take it now is Jovi Borg. She's going to set up kind of in that free throw arc area. So right sort of in the middle, about a quarter of the way across. Sent on over, going right at Viakowski, and it's going to go nice save there. And then put on over. It's going to be an ace. Didn't even get over. Went right at Viakowski. Gusetti couldn't get it, and then Soini couldn't get it on over. So it's going to be four to three. An ace. Borg sends it right at Halverson and then going to be pushed on up and pushed on over by the Packers. Coca sets up near side. Put on over by Hatcher. Kept alive there. Peterson sets up. That one's blocked and kept alive there inexplicably. Coca again to Quilvang. Dumped on over. Kept alive there that time by Soini. Fiakowski puts it over. That's blocked and down. Right back in the face of Ava Peterson. Packers kept it alive several times when I didn't think they should have, and while well, it's still going to be Valley City Point, they it's all for not. Here we go. Jovi Borg again sends it on, trying to get it to Viakowski, and it goes over. It's going to be five to four now as that one misses everything—a reverse ace, as I've mentioned. Viakowski. Sets up on that far side. She puts it on over with her right hand. Nelson to Coca. Sets up near side. Hatcher goes into the net. It's 5-5. No one's had more than three serves so far tonight. It's been back and forth. 
Sent on over Viakowski. Goes right at Hatcher. Back to Koka. The Hatcher sent on over. Viakowski. Soini to the far side. Sent on over. Kept alive there. And down and in. Jovi Borg with the diving grab. And it kind of just rotate, fell on over and onto the line. Six to five, Valley City. Here's Nelson. She sends it on over. Soini gives it on over McIntosh. Goes right at Nelson. Kept alive there. And then it's going to be put on over by Hatcher. She's going right at Halverson. And now it's down. A miscommunication between Soini and also, I believe that was Halverson. Seven to five. Nelson sets up near side. Goes right into the net. Seven six. So keeping the game within one, and Gusetti's going to check on out. Check on in here is Kiara Zepeda. Zepeda, I should say. My bad. Zepeda sets up far side, sends it on over. Kept alive there, Jovi Borg. Coca sets up on over. Hughesby goes right at Viakowski. Kept alive there. Back set. Zepeda sends it on over. Borg. Coca sets up. They're going to have to dump it on over, and they do that time with Peterson. Sets up right up the middle. Nelson keeps it alive. Coca sets up near post. And then going far side there. And down. Going far side there was Sam Hatcher. It hit Allie Halverson. And Halverson's set just was going way too far away from everybody. And Olivia Peterson could not get it. And it's going to be 8 to 6 now on the LaRue Lockout Financial scoreboard. Sent on over by Drew Potrats. Set up right down the middle. Oh! Ava McIntosh. That was a hard hit. 8-7. Back and forth we go. Olivia Peterson sends it on over and it's out. 9-7 just dueling serves. Back and forth we go. To take it this time. It's going to be Sam Hatcher. She had an ace in her last game. Sets up near side. Puts it on over with her right hand. Goes right at Morris. Kept alive there, and it's going to be put on over by Soini. Nelson. Potrat sets up right down the middle. And that one's kept alive beautifully by Viakowski. Now on over. That's kept alive. No! Halverson on the far pin. Set up right hand. And shoots right into the middle there. He had a couple players there. Jovi Berg to... Borg just unable to get it. Nine to eight. Now sent on over McIntosh. Potrat sets up near side. That's going to be sent on over that time by Jovi Borg. Now right up the middle. His block right back into the face of it looked to be. I believe that's McIntosh. No, that was Wary. Ten to eight. So back and forth we go. Setting up now is Faith Peterson. She sends it on over. Soini sets up right pin. Sent right on into the wall. And that one's down. Lally Halverson sent it into a wall of Highliners who sent it right on back. 11 to 8, Valley City. Valley City's 2 0 in set number one. Soini sets it up. Back set. Sent on over. Oh, what a beautiful play. Grace Wary going far side from the near side. And just like that, they get the run stop. It's 11 to nine. That was the largest lead of the night so far, though, was three points. Olivia Soini going back to serve. Sent on over, kept alive there by Hatcher. Sets up near side, Quilvang going to the back line, can't do so. Fiakowski sets up Soini. And then sent on over by Gusetti, it's too far. 12-9 on the LaRue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. As uh, Valley City makes a couple of substitutions here. Katie Koka sets on up now. She'll have her second sets of the serves of the day. Sends it on over, going right at Viakowski. Sets up Soini. And that's sent right back packing. Grace Wary into a wall again. Quilvang and I believe Ava Hughesby. They are blocking up a storm. 13-9. Katie Koka again sets up far side. With a right hand, sends it on over Kwiatkowski. 
Back set. Sent on into a wall. But Soini got it through. 13 to 10. Now four points is the largest lead of the night. Going to serve this time is Halverson. She sends it on over, going right at, look to be, Faith Peterson. Sets on over Quilvang. She's just going to dump it on over. Soini sets up far side. Morris, and that's down. That's not Morris. That's Olivia Peterson. She just kind of went off speed with it. 13-11. Valley City still leads. But they're going to need a lot of points here to are the Packers. Sets up near side to Halverson. Sends it right down. That's an ace. What a, what a shot. That's an ace. She went right at Jovi Borg. And it caught her and Sam Hatcher. It went right between them un, unawares. Nothing you can do there. Sets up again right into the net. So still, three serves is the max. Jovi Borg to serve now. She sends it on over, going right at Fiakowski. That's going to go off the net and down. 15 to 12. West Fargo not having a great set one. They're one and one in set ones. For only 44 points. Borg sends it right to the net. 15-13. Now the score on the LaRue Lockout Financial scoreboard. If you keep it simple and invest properly, your dollars will go farther with LaRue Lockout Financial. Coca sets up near side and going right back there. Oh, just not in. Faith Peterson going for the back corner. 15 to 14. As Viakowski is going to have her second serve on the far side. Sets up. Sends it on over. Borg. Coca set up near side. Hatcher. It's going to go off a couple players. Kept alive there. Soini sets up. Far side. Ava Peterson down. Nelson keeps alive inexplicably. Near side now and pushed on over that time by Sam Hatcher. Soini sets up right down the middle. Kept alive there by the Valley City Highliners. And then dumped on over that time there by Sam Hatcher. Unable to do anything. Faith Peter, Ava Peterson, and that's blocked on over. Ava Peterson again. She's going to go low, trying to go for the pancake. There was Katie. Katie Coca couldn't do so. 15 15, the first tie game we've had since 3 to 3, or 5 to 5, I should say. Third serve. Let's see if Fiakowski can do anything different. Sends it on over. Katie Coca now sets up. It's a really far set, so just sent on over by the libero Peterson. Pushed on up, and then pushed on back on over. A little give and go there between the Highliners and the Packers. Set up far side. Ava Olivia Peterson, that goes into the wall, and that's down. Right back in their face. It is 16 to 15, and still no one has had more than three serves. It's only been three at the most. Nelson to serve. She sends it on over on the near side. Fiakowski, Soini, right down the middle. That's blocked right back into their face. Soini keeps it alive. Now it's Halverson, sets up Olivia Peterson. Nelson keeps alive on the back row. Coca to the near side. Hatcher just pushes on over. Soini, Fiakowski, right up. Gusetti off the wall and out. 16-16. Went right off of Sam Hatcher. This is a long set one. Serving now, it's going to be Kiara Zapata. She's going to set up on the far side. Right along the elbow there. Put it on over. And it's going to go down. That's an ace. Oh, uh, the first lead for the Packers since they led it 3-2 to two back at the start of the set. 17-16 now. Zapata on the ace. Sent on over. Borg. Coca sets up. Put down. Kept alive by Viakowski. Soini. And kept alive Olivia Peterson. Now Coca, she's going to set up, back set, pushed on over too far. Ava Hughesby, the largest lead now for the West Fargo Packers. It's 18-16. Good set one here from the hack. Zapata pushed on up. Coca sets up right down the middle. Hughesby gets it blocked, put on over. Going to set up, back set, or front set. Olivia Peterson kept alive. Nelson, no. 19-16, and there are going to be four sets. 
And it's going to be a timeout by the Highliners. A mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. We will take that 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Highliner Volleyball on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. The keys to the game are brought to you by Remax Now of Valley City and Jamestown. Just as the keys to today's game offer growth, success, and opportunity for the future, so do the keys to your new property. Whether you're looking for the keys to your starter home, the keys to home where you raise your family, the keys to your business, or the keys to your lake home or retirement property, for every step of the way, Remax Now of Valley City and Jamestown are here for you. Check out our website, findrealtynow.com, for pictures and virtual tours. Back inside the Highliner Activity Center, Ricky Clobbercamp here currently. West Fargo, they come back. They lead it 19 to 16. Sent on over and out. Zapeda with the fourth serve, the first fourth serve of this game. Sent it a little too far. 19-17. Drew Potrance to serve now. Sends it on over too far. Give it right back, can't do that. 2017 now. Olivia Peterson to take it, the five foot seven outside hitter. Sophomore, sets up on the near side, puts on over, going right after Borg. Co or Potratz keeps it alive and it's gonna go right into the net as Sam Hatcher had to fall back to try putting a hand on that one, unable to do so. 21-17 on the Leroux Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Olivia Peterson again. Sends it on over, out. Near side, it went out. 21-18, down by three are the Valley City Highliners. This would be a very nice notch on the belt, you could say, if the Valley City Highliners could get a win here. Sent on over, kept alive Zapata. Soini sets up, far side, Halverson. Going off a wall, goes right to the near side now. That one goes off a wall, kept alive there. Then pushed on over there by Potratz. Now Zapata, far side. Halverson down and out. 21 to 19. They needed that one. Sam Hatcher on the service. On the near side, sends it on up. Zapata on it. Soini sets up. Halverson out. 21 to 20. Currently a three-point swing for the Highliners. Sam Hatcher looking to keep it alive. She sends it on over, going right at Peterson. Soini keeps it alive. Halverson's going to send it into the net. Tie game! 21-21. And another timeout, this time by West Fargo. A mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back here in the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. Magnify what matters with a pair of custom high quality reading glasses from Central Avenue Health Mart Pharmacy, your community Health Mart Pharmacy. September 6th through the 17th, take 10% off on a pair or two that are uniquely you and just in time for school. For all your healthcare needs and prescriptions, see your trusted healthcare resource. Central Avenue Health Mart Pharmacy, downtown Valley City. Health Mart. Back inside the Highliner Activity Center, Ricky Cloverkamp here. It's still set one. It's 21 21. Oh my lord. If this is what it is. That ace! That ace! Sam Hatcher sending it right at Olivia Peterson. It's 22 to 21 on that one. Senior Sam Hatcher, 22 to 21. Sets up again, near side, sends it on over, and ace again! <laughs> Kept it right in, 23 to 21. A back and forth set one, the Highliners. Sending it to long distance. Sent on over that time. Goes right at Halverson. Kept alive that time. Sent on down. Kept alive there. Then it's going to be put on over by Potratz. Now Borg sends it on over. Kept alive there. Biakowski. 
Soini sets up. Halverson is going to be blocked, put up into the air. Peterson sets up. Potratz sets up right up the middle, and it's going to be blocked. Jovi Bohr going for it, and it was blocked by a combination of a 5'5 senior in Soini and also Grace Wary. It's 23-22. Going to take it now. It looks to be McIntosh. Sent on up. Now Borg puts it on over. Kept alive there. Soini sets up. Back set. Kept alive there. That time it looked to be Olsen. Put on over by Borg. Soini sets up Halverson. Up the middle. She's blocked! 24-22. Set point for the Highliners. Faith Peterson. Sets up right in that free throw mark. Sends it on over. Kept alive there, the other Peterson, Olivia. Then sent on over. Did it tip? It did. Good kill there by Grace Wary, keeping it alive. And now it's going to be 24-23. Soini to take it. Sent on over. Kept alive there. Potratz, Quilvang, sent on over. Kept alive, Soini. Now Quilvang, put on over. Nelson, kept alive, pushed it on up. It's four hits, 24-24. We're gonna go to a 26 point Soini to take it. Sets up near side with her right hand, sends it on over. Kept alive there, Hatcher to the libero. Now sent on over that time by Quilvang. Fiakowski sets up right in the middle and pushed on over. It's blocked. The Highliners have another set point. 25-24. It was blocked by a combination of Olsen and Quilvang. Here we go. Coca to take it. Sent on over. Going right at Fiakowski. Soini. Back set. Halverson. Sends it up. Coca keeps it alive. Kept alive again by Sam Hatcher. Pushed down over by Quilvang. Soini sets up right up the middle. Pancake, no. 25-25. Wary on the kill. Halverson sent on up. Kept alive there. Coca. Now Quilvang just pushes on over. You already had three hits. Fiakowski. Soini, back set. Gusetti kept alive Coca. Now trying to keep it alive, and now it's set point. As trying to keep it alive with Sam Hatcher couldn't do so, it's going to be set point now for the Packers. 26 25 here in set number one. And another timeout, a mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. We'll take it with them here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. Looking for great rates and a secure investment? Well, we have the right options to grow your savings. Hi, this is Debbie Eggert at Bank Forward in Valley City. Our current CD specials offer a variety of options, including annual percentage yield as high as 2% for 28 months. Stop in today for all the details. Great rates plus safety. It's simply the forward way. Additional terms and conditions apply. Bank Forward member FDIC. Back inside the Highliner Activity Center. 26-25, the West Fargo Packers currently lead it here in set number one. I, If you'd have come into this match and told me set one was going to go to at least 27 points, I'd have told you you're crazy. Halverson to take it. Sends it on over. Kept alive there by Borg. Coca sets up. Borg is going to send it on over. Kept alive there. Gusetti sets up into the middle. Wary pushes it on over. Now it's Nelson. Should have let it go. Coca. Quilvang. Pushed on over. Kept alive there via Kowski. Soini sets up far side. Ava Peterson kept alive by Nelson. Coca Borg sends it on over. Via Kowski again. Soini back set. Gusetti blocked right back at Soini. Kept alive via Kowski. Set on up. Olivia Peterson. Now Coca Nelson sets up Borg. She goes right into the net. Was it blocked? It was. Borg again is blocked again. Coca keeps it alive. Nelson back up. Coca just going to put it on over. A nice dive there, Biakowski. Soini sets up. Olivia Peterson kept alive. Jovi Borg. Nice volley here. Coca back to Borg. Low set. Soini keeps it alive. Now Biakowski set up. Gusetti keeping it alive. That time is Hatcher. 
push down up. Then push down over very slightly as Soini keeps it alive now. Olivia Peterson a dive, keeps it alive. Nelson, set up, gonna have to take a big one. No! 27-25 is the final in set number one. West Fargo takes it in set one. They now lead by one set to none. We're going to take a quick step aside. We'll be right back in about one minute here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. At CHI Mercy Health, we believe human kindness is at the root of all healing, providing care on a human level, courage when it's needed most, and a connection that's ever-present among us all. Human kindness is meant to be shared. It puts a smile on someone's face and seeks to do the same for others. Take the time to nourish what's inside and watch your life flourish outside, because taking care of yourself is an act of human kindness. Just like human kindness, happiness can come from the most unexpected places. Whether it's from your friend, your dog, or a memory, embrace it and pass it on. CHI Mercy Health of Valley City. Brothers 3 has the area's widest variety of classic and new fishing tackle at the lowest prices to give you the edge this year. Before heading out on the water, stop in and get your live bait and tackle and fill your tank on the highest quality gas and diesel. Brothers 3 is your locally owned and operated convenience store. As always, Brothers 3 has the lowest prices in town on everything from snacks and drinks to gear, propane, and automotive supplies. Remember, it pays to shop at Brothers 3. Smith Lumber Company is proud to announce the addition of the Husqvarna lineup to their expanding business. They've acquired the Husqvarna line from Ken at SNS Auto Electric, which means a long sales and service history. And Tanner and Bud from SNS will also bring their years of experience to Smith Lumber. The same sales, service, and parts you've come to expect. Whether you're maintaining a large commercial property or small yard, you can count on Husqvarna's innovative and high-performance equipment. Smith Lumber Company, your Husqvarna dealer in Valley City. This is 1490 KOVC AM Valley City and 96.3 K242 CZ Valley City. The voice of the valley. Welcome back inside the Highliner Activity Center. Ricky Clover Camp here as we get ready for set number two. Let's look back at set number one. Valley City had a couple set points here. They had one, two, three set points in set one. They led at one point by four was their greatest lead. West Fargo winning the set. They only led a couple of times. They led by four once, or led by three once is what I should say. They didn't have any more than that in set number one. A very good set by both teams, and that last point was one heck of a rally. It stinks that one of those teams just had to lose set number one. Well, it's one nothing now is the score on the LaRue Lockout Financial scoreboard. Ricky Clavercamp again here for the KOVC and on the Highliner Activities Network. If you're watching on that one, thank you for joining us. Going back out to the court, the Highliners, they're again in their home blues. A little bit of trim along their sides. They got white numbers on their chests and on their back. And then they got Highliner script along their shoulders and along their forearms. Attacking again right to left as we get back underway to take it this time, it's Soini, gets it started. Coca sets up near side, Borg, ho! Oh! Jovi Borg with authority. Valley City up by one. West Fargo got us started that set. Now, now to take it, it's Katie Coca. Here we go, Coca gets us underway. Sent it to the back line. Kept alive there. Soini sets up Gusetti on the far post. Kept alive now. Jovi Borg. Coca back to Borg. Going to the back line. Viakowski keeps it alive. Soini sets up. Halverson going up the middle. Coca keeps it alive. Borg sends it on over to Nelson. She'll just have to dump it on over. Viakowski now. Soini back set near post. Gusetti back in front of them. Soini to Viakowski to Halverson. It's out. Valley City point. Here we go. Valley City looking to keep this one run going. 2 nothing on the Blue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Sent on over, going right at Viakowski Little Barrel. Sent on up. Wary goes into the wall and puts it down. 2-1. to one. West Fargo, they have 51 points in their set number two in their last two games if we're only counting regular season and EDC play. 
Halverson sends it on over. Borg, Coca sets up Quilvang. I go into the back line. It's too far. 2-2. Two, two. As Halverson does, gets another serve. Tacking left to right, and their road green sends it on into the net. An error, a service error. As going to take it now is number, number seven, Jovi Borg. Sets up on the far side, sends it on over. Kept alive there, Peterson. Soini, back to Peterson, and that goes down. 3-3. Three, three. Down on the back line in between Nelson and Borg. Just traded back and forth here. Viakowski now. 3-3, three, three, our score. Sets up far side. Sent on over. Kept alive that time by Sam Hatcher. Coca back to Hatcher. She going to the back line. Viakowski keeps it alive. Soini, back set. Gusetti, out. A little too much on it. Gusetti on that near post. Put a lot into it, and it just was too much. Too far. Jada Nelson now to take it, the senior libero. In that red jersey, sent on over, right at Ava Peterson. Sets up Peterson, right into the wall! Another point, Abby Sather, no, not Sather, that is Faith Peterson on the block. As well as Ava Hughesby, it's five to three, Valley City. Largest lead of the set, five three. Nelson sets up near side, right, left hand sends it on over. Kept alive via Kowski, Soini sets up right up the middle, no one's there. McIntosh, 5-4, Packers point. Gusetti's going to check on out. Zapata's going to check on in. Zapata had a good run in set number one for services. Sent on over. Nelson has to back up a set, sets up Coca. Now on over, put on over that time by Hughesby. Soini, up the middle, kept alive by Borg. Coca. Sets up to Hatcher, who sends it on over. Fiakowski, and she just dumps it on over. Soini dumped it on over. It's 5-5, tie game. First tie game since 5-5, or 3-3. Zapata sends it on over. Their service is really good, but that one's not so good. Sent on over, 6-5, Valley City back in front. Potratz will check on in. Coca will check on out. And also checking on in here is Tessa Olsen. She'll take off number five, Ava Hughesby. Sent on over, Potrats going right at Viakowski. Set up right up the middle and can't get a pancake. It was blocked and tipped. McIntosh, she's been deadly so far right up that middle. Taking it now, Olivia Peterson. Sent on over, too far. Another service error. That's another thing that Kelsey Titus was telling me, the first year head coach of the West Fargo High Packers, is that service errors, well, they needed to bring those down a little bit. Taking it now is Sam Hatcher, sends it on over, going to the back line. Kept alive, Soini, it's gonna have to be just pushed on over by Halverson. Nelson, Potratz, back set, going right into them. It was Tessa Olsen, she ran into a brick wall at seven to seven. Just back and forth we go. Ellie McIntosh to take it now. Sets up near side, right hand, puts it on over. Kept alive, Potrat, and then Borg's just gonna push it on over. Soini sets up the middle. Kept alive there after where he sent it on over. It's gonna have to be dumped on over by Borg. Halverson, Soini sets up Halverson too far. Eight to seven, for some reason, the Packers just unable to figure something out here to take a lead. They've had the opportunity, just unable to do so. Taken now is Faith Peterson checking on in for the libero, Jaden Nelson. Soini sets up. It's gonna be sent on over and in. Wary. Change up, got him. Eight to eight, our score. Gusetti will check back in. Zapata checks back out. Soini to take it, eight to eight, sent on over. 
kept alive there by Hatcher and then miscommunication. And scary moments, Potratz and Tessa Olsen ran into each other and that's the first lead of the set for Wes Fargo. Nine to eight on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Nelson on the, the service reception and then it's gonna be Potratz back to Nelson sent on over. Biakowski, back set, Gusetti near post. Down, 10 to eight. Timeout call, the Mobility Plus Rehabilitation timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. This is Hannah Wheland, a freshman at Valley City State University. The V500 scholarship members' generosity and commitment is exactly the kind of community involvement we need to keep VCSU going strong. The many scholarships provided are a testament to the support of the alumni, family, and friends of VCSU. Please keep expanding the opportunities available to enhance the lives of the next generation and make a difference for attracting future Vikings by supporting scholarships online at give.vcsu.edu or by calling the VCSU Foundation. Back inside the Highliner Activity Center, Ricky Clover Camp here. It's 10 to 8 on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. The West Fargo High Packers currently lead the Valley City Highliners by a score of that score. Sent on over. Kept alive there. Faith Peterson set up Potratz. Quill Vang will send it on over. Viakowski, Soini, set up right up the middle. Blocked and out. 11 to 8. The largest lead of the set now for either team. It's three points. Soini's had three services so far. It's a four point swing. Sent on up. Potratz can't receive it. It's an ace. Went right at Jada Nelson. Potratz unable to do anything with it. It's now 12 to eight. The largest lead of the night in any set for the Packers. Sent on over, Nelson, bad reception. 13 to eight on the LaRue Lockout Financial scoreboard. LaRue Lockout Financial, if you keep it simple and invest properly, your dollars will go farther. Again, with LaRue Lockout Financial. Sets up right at Nelson again. She receives it better that time. Potratz, now Borg sends it on over. Viakowski, Soini, up the middle. Wary, out. And that's what the Highliners needed. Back to within four. Potratz will check on out. So will Olsen. Coca will check on in. Ava Hughesby as well. Coca to serve it on the far side. Right hand sent on over. Kept alive that time via Kowski. Soini back set. Halverson in. On the near side. Kept it in on that corner. 9 to 14. The hot Packers starting to run away with it a little bit. They're up by five again. Tying their largest lead of the night. Auden will check on in now. One of the players from the varsity squad. Liz Auden sets up Quilvang with a huge hit. Goes right back and down. There's the kill that they were looking for. Jovi Borg with the kill. 14-10. But as I was saying, Liv Auden, sophomore striker. Sophomore again. Sent on over. She's normally on the grave. JV team. Gusetti. Kept alive there, pushed on over inexplicably by the Highliners. Zoini to Peterson, blocked, sent up right into the sky. Weird set there. Coca, now Peterson, now sent on over by Sam Hatcher. Viakowski, back set, Gusetti near post, pushed on over. Kept alive there, Borg, Gusetti, Hatcher going to the far side, kept alive that time by Olivia Peterson. Then pushed on over, no one's there. Diving save, rebound, another diving save, but it's not going to do anything. Ava Hughesby trying to do it. Can't do it all, and it goes out of bounds. And it's 15-10. Now to take it via Keski. Sends right up to Nelson. Coca sets up right down the hatcher. And now back set on over. Halverson sends it on over. Kept alive Coca. Borg to Hatcher going far side. Kept alive Halverson. Soini 
sets up. Olivia Peterson into the ball. Not into the wall, into the net, I should have said. 15-11. Jada Nelson now to take it. Sent it right at Halverson. Soini sets up down the middle. Kept alive and pushed on over. McIntosh gets blocked. Kept alive inexplicably. Nelson and Coca, but just can't get it on over. Ava Hughesby. 16-11 now on the LaRue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Zapata to take it. Zapata, one of the better servers right now for both teams. Sent on over and then off the net and out. It went right at Nelson who kind of redirected it back on over the net. Then McIntosh sent it off the top of the net and out of play. 12 to 16, back and forth we go, but West Fargo would like that more than Valley City. Potratz sends it on over. Viakowski's there, Soini sets up McIntosh, it's out. It's back to a three point lead. And the first three point lead since, oh my goodness, it's been a while. Halverson, Soini sets up and it's gonna be down. Olivia Peterson. On the far post. 16 or 17 to 13. Now it's going to be Olivia Peterson. Sent on over. Nelson keeps it alive. Set up there. Peterson then pushed on over that time by Hughesby. Soini sets up. Halverson kept alive by Hughesby. Now Bore. Sent up to Olsen, diving play, Viakowski, then pushed back on over, kept alive there. Zapata, then pushed on over that time. Peterson, Potratz now, sends it over. Olsen pushes it on up and over. Soini, Halverson, out. 14 to 17 is the score. Samantha Hatcher now to take it. Sent on over. Kept alive there, Soini. Now Halverson back set. Then it goes off of Potratz's hands and out of play. So it's 18 to 14 now. Serving this time, it looks to be McIntosh. Sent on up and over. Potratz back set into a wall that time. Did Peterson go? Potratz sets up near side. Borg sent on over. Olivia Peterson. Soini sets up right up the middle. Kept alive inexplicably. Sent on over. Yes, Olsen does it. Soini sets up Halverson. She gets right into a wall and puts it through. 19 to 14 on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. West Fargo looking to force just three sets. Sent on over, Nelson, Potratz, back set. Sent on into a wall and then sent on out. A combination, Faith Peterson on the wall and then also Potratz trying to send it on over. Couldn't do so, it's 20 to 14. Sent on over and that's an ace. right at Sam Hatcher. And that's gonna be a timeout for Valley City. We'll take it with them, a mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. We'll be right back here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. Are you on the right financial path? Are all your financial professionals on the same page? At LaRue Lockout Financial, you can be assured that your investment professional and tax professional are working together. Call Ryan LaRue at 701-845-6938 or James M. Lockout, CPA, at 845-1660. Services offered through Investment Advisors, a division of Pro Equities Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Securities offered through Pro Equities Incorporated, a registered broker dealer and member of FINRA and SIPC. Back here at the Highliner, Highliner Activity Center, McIntosh looking to keep this going. 21-14, West Fargo Packers lead. Kept alive there. 
Potratz sets up near side. Board gets blocked, but she sends it on over anyway. Halverson sets up Soini. Pushed on over that time by Wary. Potratz sets up on the far side. Olsen puts it on over. Soini, far post. Halverson gets it blocked right in front of her. Soini sets up Halverson. She's going to try again. She gets blocked again. Keeps it alive. Soini then pushed on down. There's the kill. Sam Hatcher. No, not Sam Hatcher. Faith Peterson on the kill. 15 to 21. Peterson will now serve it after getting the kill. Valley City needs a run, and they need it bad. Sent on over, Olivia Peterson. Soini, Halverson gets it blocked right into the net. Now set up now. Pushed on over by Hatcher. Kept alive Zapata, Soini to Wary. Borg pushes on up. Potratz set it up right into the middle. Hatcher too far. 22-15. Peterson will check on out for the Highliners. Checking back in, Jada Nelson. Zapata will check out as well. Gusetti checks in. And that was a service error by Olivia Soini. Gives it right back to the Highliners, 22 to 16. Six points is the, seven points is the highest lead anybody's have. Had Coca. Need some of that freshman magic right now in set number two. Sent on over, going right at Biakowski. Soini sets up Cusetti. Gets set over to Borg. Then it's going to be pushed on over that time by Quilvang. Set over, right up the middle where E. Pancake can't do it. 23 to 16. Substitution now. It's going to be Odin checking back on in. Auden will check back in. Near side, she sets up with her right hand, sends it over. Nelson, Coca sets up. Near side, it's gonna be four hits. 24-16, set point now. For the Packers, looking to put a little bit of a stranglehold on the Valley City Highliners. Sent on up, kept alive there, Coca. Sets up near side, Quilvang into a wall. Kept alive there, will it go over? It will be out. And that'll do it. Set number two goes the way of West Fargo. They will lead it two sets to none on the LaRue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. We're going to take a quick step aside. We'll be right back here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. Ready for some football? Make sure you include quality meats and snacks from Valley Meat Supply. Valley Meat has all your favorites for the grill. Thick, juicy steaks, burger patties, brats, and all beef wieners. Valley Meat has you covered during the hunting and harvest season with sandwich meats and a variety of cheeses, beef sticks, and jerky. If you're tailgating, hunting, or harvesting, Make it Valley Meat Supply, West Main, Valley City. Ivy Real Estate Group, your locally owned real estate brokerage, is cheering for the home team. Listen to KOVC for the Ivy Real Estate Group player of the game following every Valley City Highliner and VCSU Vikings game. Don't leave your wiring to chance. Plug into your number one electrical source, Highline Electric. They're the experts in residential, commercial, and industrial electrical work. No cutting corners at Highline Electric. Call 845-0731. They'll give you a free estimate before any work is done. Family owned since 1986 with Chad and Tracy Zahn. And I promise, the price won't shock you. Highline Electric in Valley City. Call 845-0731. Building a reputation of integrity and quality. Hey, Valley City, Jamestown Regional Medical Center knows how important it is to receive care close to home. That's why JRMC orthopedic surgeon Dr. Timothy Volk offers care right in Valley City. Learn about local care for hips, shoulders, knees, and toes at www.jrmcnd.com backslash Valley City. Schedule online anytime at jrmcnd.com backslash Valley City or call 701-952-4878. Jamestown Regional Medical Center will never stop building...
here at the Highliner Activity Center. Ricky Cloverkamp here. Set three about to get underway. That last set was kind of all West Fargo. It started out well for Valley City. They were up five to three at one point. Then they were up eight to seven. That was the last lead they saw of that game when then West Fargo went on one heck of a run off the back of Olivia Soina serving. They went on a four point swing there. It was 13 to eight by the, 13 to nine by the end of that one. Then just kind of going back and forth until it became 25-16, final score in set number two. Sent on over, Coca getting us started. Kept alive there, Phil Fiakowski, then pushed on over by Cusetti, and then not able to do anything with it. Miscommunication among the Highliners. West Fargo has the first point of the set. That's the first time they've had that this game. Valley City, their worst set of the season by far is that set number two. They're one and one. Only 45 points, but it is early in the season. For West Fargo, it's one of their better sets. Coca sets up. Quilvang out. Two nothing. It's going to be Auden again. Send it on over. Two nothing our score. Sent on over, kept alive there, Quilvang. Sends it on up to Hughesby who pushes it on over. Auden sets it up, pushed on down. Wary, three nothing. Soiny to Wary. And it's three nothing on the Rue Lockout Financial scoreboard. Auden will take it again. Two nothing in, the, in sets, the Packers lead. Sent on over, kept alive there, Nelson. Coca near side, Borg, and goes off of a wall and out. There's your first points of the night, or for the set. Or no, that's a point for the Packers. I guess it went off the post. Nelson, Coca, out, five nothing. And if you're head coach Rebecca Erickson, you might need to call a timeout here. Get your girls back under composure because right now you're in trouble. Coca, Quilvang, pushed on over. Wary, Soini, back set Gusetti into a wall. And then that's going to be double touch. 6 nothing on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Auden on a run. Here we go again, Auden, near side, sets it on over with their right hand. Bad reception by Nelson, Coca, then it's gonna be sent on over by Sam Hatcher. Set up far side and it goes down. Seven nothing, Olivia Peterson. Seven nothing, a mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. We're gonna hold it right here for now. It is currently seven nothing. Our score. As this first set, number three, is uh, getting underway, all of a sudden, West Fargo is just out in front. Olivia Auden, and it's been kind of a little tough right now on the Valley City Highliner side. You dare I say, a little sloppy. A little miss of communication here and there, and all of a sudden, some double touches. Poor receptions on some serves, and you find yourself down by seven. West Fargo, their next game is going to be at home against Shanley. Sent on over, out. Auden, that's what you needed. But still the Highliners looking for the first kill. Auden will check on out, Halverson will check on in. Who's going to take it? It's going to be Borg will be on the service for the Highliners. She'll set up on that far side. She'll put it on over with her right hand. Sets up and then jumps, puts it on over. Ace! Jovi Bar gets an ace and well, you need some more of those. It's seven to two on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. If you keep it simple and invest properly, your dollars will go farther with Rue Lockout Financial. Jovi Borg. Sends it on over, kept alive, Viakowski. Soini sets up, Peterson into a wall, no, just into the net. Seven to three. 
just straight up into the net, didn't get any of the wall. Four point lead now for the Packers. Borg sends it on over. Fiakowski, Soini, back set, Cusetti sends it down. Goes off of Borg and out of play. Eight to three. To take it now, Viakowski. What you don't want to do if you're the Highliners is start trading points. You can't afford it. Here in set three, down eight to three. They're also down two sets to nothing. Viakowski sends it on over. Borg sets up near side. Down! Boop bullseye from Sam Hatcher. Eight to four, Sam Hatcher from Coca. Jada Nelson to take it now on the service. Sets up near side using her left hand, puts it on over. Going right at Peterson, Soini sends it up. McIntosh, Nelson keeps it alive. Coca sets up near side. Hatcher goes right out to the back line. Viakowski, Soini back set. Cusetti pushes it on up into the post. Point, Valley City. Eight to five. Nelson again, going to set up right kind of in the middle of the court. Attacking right to left in her red jersey. Uses her left hand. Peterson, McIntosh, into the wall, and down! Eight to six. Peterson was in on that block. Think it might get awarded to her. Nelson again, and that ball's kind of rolling away from her. Two sets to nothing, West Fargo lead the Valley City Highliners. Nelson again sets up in the middle. She'll come to the near side. Left hand sends it on over. Peterson on the far side keeps it alive. Soini, back set, Gusetti, push it on over. Can't get there, back corner. Nine to six, Packers lead, but that's a good run for Valley City. Zapata will check on in, one of the better servers for the West Fargo Packers. Sets up on the far side. She's going to use her right hand. Puts it on over. Nelson. Coca sets up. It's going to have to just be dumped on over. Will it get over? No. Hughes be unable to put it on over. Point for the Packers. It's a four-point lead once again. Zapata again. 10-6 is our score on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Borg, Coca, sets up Hughesby, goes into a wall, kept alive Nelson. No, it's going to be counted as four touches. I thought it hit somebody on that, but it wouldn't matter anyway. 11-6 to six now is the score. Zapata again into the net. 11-7. What Valley City needed, Potrats will check on in for Hughesby. And Olsen will check on in for Coca. Potratz has not had a good night so far of serving. It's just West Fargo's done a good job as well. A little bit of back and forth. That one's out. Point for the Highliners. 11-8, three-point deficit now on set number three. Potratz sets up far side in the far corner. Right hand sends it on over. Going right at Viakowski, Lula Barrel. Soini. McIntosh sent on over and down. McIntosh, she's been good all night long with that little tap. And it's been deadly. 12 to 8 is our score. Sent on over. Peterson right at Larson, and that's going to be down. Right at Nelson, I should have said. That one goes right into the net from Hatcher, and it's going to be 13 to 8. Olivia Peterson sets up near side. Right hand serve. Sends it on over. Right at Borg. And it's going to be pushed on over by Olsen. Fiakowski back set. Sent down by McIntosh. Deadly. Absolutely deadly shooting for that back line. And it's a six point lead. The largest lead that they've had since 7-1. to one. Sent on over. Nelson. Poltratz pushes on over. Good play. 
14 to nine. To take it now on the near side, it's gonna be Sam Hatcher. Samantha Hatcher near side, right hand. Serves it up, ace! Good job by Sam Hatcher. Four point deficit now, trying to make it a three point deficit for the first time since 11 to eight. Sent on over, going right at Zapata. Soini sets up Halverson into the net. Four point hits. 14-11. Starting to come back a little bit, pick up some momentum, gotta keep it alive. Right hand serve from Hatcher, sent on over, right at Peterson. Kept alive, Soini, Halverson, sends it on over, goes into a wall, kept alive there. Now back to Halverson, she'll push it on over. Kept alive that time by Borg, Potratz, sets, and it's gonna have to just be pushed on over. Zapata, Soini, Halverson, sets up into a wall. Soini again, sets up near side, Zapata's just gonna have to push it on over. Kept alive, Potratz, Nelson, near side, setting up Borg, too far. And they got it. It tipped. It tipped. 14 to 12. The call goes their way. This is so far a three point or four point swing for the Highliners. 14 to 12 on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Right at Peterson. Kept alive. Soiny now sets up Halverson. Out. Timeout called by Kelsey Titus of the West Fargo Packers. What a scene we are seeing being played out in front of us. We're gonna take this Mobility Plus Rehabilitation timeout with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. This is Amy Heim, nurse practitioner with Sanford Health. Well child checks are important visits for children of every age. Yearly well child checks are recommended for children three and older and more frequently for those younger than three. It is at these visits that growth, development, and preventative care are addressed in an effort to keep children as healthy as possible. Recommended immunizations are also discussed and provided at these visits. Call 742-3267 to schedule at your local Sanford Health Clinic in Ellendale, Foreman, Gwinner, Lamore, Lisbon, or Oaks. Back here at the Highliner Activity Center. Currently, the Highliners are trailing by a score of 14-13, but they're on a run. Soini, Halverson sets up and goes into a wall and goes down, and just like that, they get a point back. Trying to extend that lead now, 15 to 13. Valley City, a five-point swing the other way. It's gonna be McIntosh to take the serve. Right-handed serve, sends it on up. Hatcher, Potratz, near side, Borg, goes right at McIntosh, kept alive there. Halverson now, out! One point game again. Nelson will check on out, checking on in is Addie Quilvang. Sent on over. And then that's down into the net and gonna be pushed on over that time by the libero Viakowski. Quilvang goes into a wall, kept alive there. Zapata keeps it alive. Quilkowski keeps it alive now. Pushed on up, Quilvang goes down. Zapata can't control it, it's out. Tie game, Highliners. Taking the services, I believe, is Hatcher. Or is it Peterson? It is Peterson. Sent on over, goes right at Zapata. Soini. Goes right, warily goes right at him, can't do so. Halverson's gonna dump it into the net. Highliners lead for the first time this set. 16-15. Sent on over, Peterson keeps alive. Soini sets up Halverson on the restraining line, sends it on over and down, tie game again. 16-16. Zapata will check on out, Gusetti will check on in. To take the services now is Soini. She'll set up on the near side. Using her right hand, jumps, sends it on over. Nelson keeps it alive and out. West Fargo back in front, 17-16. That's an ace.
17-16 in set number three on the LaRue Lockout Financial Scoreboard. Sent on over. Nelson keeps it alive. Potratz. Quilvang into a wall. Kept alive there. And it's going to be going all the way back to the restraining line. It's going to be put on over by Gusetti. And it's out. Did it tip on someone? It did. 18-16. The Packers lead once again. Three-point swing now for the Packers. Soini to take it. Sends it on over, right hand. It's low, pushed back on over. <laughs> Easily there, Viakowski pushed on over. Back line, yes! Point there, Wary. 19-16, West Fargo lead. Highliners need to put a stop to this run. Sent on over, Borg, Potratz. Back to Hatcher. She'll send it on over. Kept alive via Kowski. Soini. Back set. Cusetti near post. Kept alive Nelson. Potrats. Near side. Into the net. 2016. Five point swing for the Packers. Soini sends it on over. It's low. Kept alive there by Hatcher. Back set. Down. Net violation, regardless, that time by Abby Quilvang, and it's 21-16, five-point lead once again for West Fargo. Sent on over, Nelson keeps it alive, Potratz now, Quilvang going far side, it's out, 22-16, timeout called by Valley City, we'll take that timeout with them as a mobility plus rehabilitation timeout. Here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. The keys to the game are brought to you by Remax Now of Valley City and Jamestown. Just as the keys to today's game offer growth, success, and opportunity for the future, so do the keys to your new property. Whether you're looking for the keys to your starter home, the keys to home where you raise your family, the keys to your business, or the keys to your lake home or retirement property, for every step of the way, Remax Now of Valley City and Jamestown are here for you. Check out our website, findrealtynow.com, for pictures and virtual tours. Back inside the Highliner Activity Center, Ricky Clavercamp, it's, it's 22-16 in set number three. West Fargo currently leads in sets two, two nothing. Borg sends it into the net, four hits, 23-16. West Fargo looking for the clean sweep. It would be 12 straight sets one. Currently, it's up to 11 straight sets one since last year. Sent on over Soini, kept alive there. Then pushed on over that time by Potrance. Can't do anything. Then sent on over and out by Gusetti. Highliners stay alive. 27-13 on the Rue Lockout Financial Scoreboard here in set number three. Coco will check on in. That was a long set, the long streak there by West Fargo. Katie Coco to take it, the freshman. Needs something here. Sent on over, going right at Peterson. Soini sets up right down the middle, kept alive there by Nelson. Borg goes off the wall, kept alive by the Packers. Viakowski sets up, warily keeps it alive. Now Nelson. Now pushed on over that time by Hatcher. Soini sets up Halverson. Down Nelson keeps it alive. Coca to Hatcher. Pushes it on over. Viakowski. Soini sets Halverson again. Nelson keeps it alive and out. Point that time for the Hackers. And uh, we're going to see it. Match point. 24 to 17. Sent on over. Nelson, Coca, Borg into a wall. Coca keeps it alive. Nelson now. Borg again. Sends it on over. Viakowski, Soini, back set. Gusetti down. And that's down and out. 25 to 17 will be the final in a set number three. Valley City falls to the West Fargo Packers by three sets to nothing. 
Well, Valley City dug themselves a hole right away. In the set, they were down seven nothing. They had to fight all the way back. They did bring it all the way back. It was 16 to 15, they led at one point. And then after that, it was a huge streak there. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight point swing in favor of the Packers to make it a 23 to 16 game. They'd get one more point before the Packers would finish it off. We're gonna take a quick step aside. We'll be right back on the post game show here on the Voice of the Valley, KOVC. Magnify what matters with a pair of custom high quality reading glasses from Central Avenue Health Mart Pharmacy, your community Health Mart Pharmacy. September 6th through the 17th, take 10% off on a pair or two that are uniquely you and just in time for school. For all your healthcare needs and prescriptions, see your trusted healthcare resource. Central Avenue Health Mart Pharmacy, downtown Valley City. Health Mart, taking time to listen and care. Ivy Real Estate Group, your locally owned real estate brokerage, is cheering for the home team. Listen to KOVC for the Ivy Real Estate Group player of the game following every Valley City Highliner and VCSU Vikings game. Back inside here at the Highliner Activity Center of the Hack where Valley City just fell by three sets to nothing to the West Fargo Packers. Uh, a tough, a pretty good night overall for the Packers as they get back to their winning ways, continue their winning ways, I should say. They haven't lost a set since West Fargo Cheyenne, and that was set number four. And now they're on a six-set win streak after they swept aside West Fargo Horse in the last game. They sweep the Valley City Highliners in this one. Valley City Highliners, this is the first time they've been swept this season. In the regular season, I should say, they were swept by Bismarck High in the preseason tournament. Three sets to nothing, but again, that's a preseason tournament, so technically it doesn't count. Next up for the West Fargo Packers, they're going to be taking on Shanley at home, making a return home. That game is going to be on the 8th for anybody listening or watching from Fargo. Meanwhile, Valley City, they travel out to Fargo Davies on Thursday. So both teams heading on out to Fargo this week. Let's break down this game. Set number one, it started out really tight. And it was tight the entire, well, entire first set. 27 to 25, West Fargo took that first set. And it was just a back and forth affair. No one really able to get a true lead. Valley City had one, two, and three set points in that one just unable to put it away once West Fargo got their one set point they were able to take it West Fargo no one really led more than like three points in that first set set number two the Highliners started out hot they were up by a score of five to three and then they were up again by a score of six to five eight to seven however after that the West Fargo Packers kind of kicked it into gear. They got on a good streak there again. Soini got a very big streak. One, two, three, four, five, six point difference there. Six points or uh, yeah, six point spread there in that second set, making it 14 to nine at one point. They would end 25 to 16 for that set. Meanwhile, this set, it started out all West Fargo. It was seven to nothing to start it off, and then it was eight to three, and then it just kind of kept creeping on closer for the Valley City Highliners, kept coming on back. Then Sam Hatcher got on up there. She picked up another ace, her third ace of the game, as she would continue on. They'd bring it within two, 15 to 13, and then it was 15 to 15, then 16 to 15. Valley City had brought themselves in front. After that, though, West Fargo just decided to end it all. They went on one heck of an eight point stretch to make it 23 to 16, or 23 to 17. And then they just decided to end it once they got set point 25 to 17 in set number three. It's time for us to pick an Ivy Real Estate Group player of the game, and that player of the game is gonna have to be Sam Hatcher. 
the senior. She had three aces today, several kills, a bunch of digs, and a couple assists, uh, a couple blocks as well. She had herself an outstanding night as I wait for the official stat sheet. I'll get that posted on NewsDakota.com. But Sam Hatcher, the Ivy Real Estate Group Player of the Game. That's going to do it for us here at the Valley City Highliner Activity Center. Ricky Cloverkamp here signing off. Once again, the Highliners, they fall by a score of three sets to nothing, and they now look forward to Thursday when they take on Fargo Davies in Davies. Have a good night, and God bless. This has been an I3G Media Sports Network production. As I, I'm actually going to keep it on here. Oh, there we go. You've been listening to Highliner Volleyball here on KOVC. Highliner Volleyball is brought to you by Mobility Plus Rehabilitation, Remax Now, Central Avenue Health, Mart Pharmacy, Bank Forward, CHI Mercy Health in Valley City, Brothers 3, Smith Lumber, Valley City State University, Lee Rue Lockout Financial, Valley Meat Supply, Gropberg Electric, Ivy Real Estate Group, Highline Electric, Professional Eye Care Centers, Jamestown Regional Medical Center, and Sanford Health in Valley City. This has been a production.